today we are going to study about hybridization in ethene the last lesson we had studied hybridization uh, we can say sp3 hybridization in methane but today we are going to study uh, sp2 hybridization in ethene uh, let's revise the definition of uh, hybridization once more and then we can proceed to study hybridization sp2 hybridization in ethene so what is hybridization hybridization is defined as the mixing of the atomic orbitals of the same energy level to form new sets of hybrid orbitals of equivalent energy and shape the characteristics of hybridization the orbitals taking part in the hybridization must have only a small difference in enthalpies thus 2s and 2p can hybridize 3s and 3p can also hybridize but 2s and 3p cannot hybridize there is a large difference in the energy the hybrid orbitals may differ from one another in their orientation hybrid orbitals can form only sigma bonds the total number of hybrid orbitals formed is equal to the number of atomic orbitals involved in the hybridization process now let's proceed to sp2 hybridization in ethene sp2 hybrid hybridization in ethene c2 h4 ethene contains four atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of carbon its molecular formula is c2h4 and the structure what we are seeing in the diagram it has cc double bond and then four single bond of hydrogen and carbon electronic configuration of ethene is 1s2 2s2 and 2p2 in ethylene and in other organic compounds having cc double bond 2s and 2p orbitals of carbon atom undergo sp2 hybridization uh, if you look at the ground state or at the normal state the electronic configuration in this diagram that is diagram 1 we can say in the ground state the nor that is the normal state the electronic configuration uh, of carbon atom is 1s2 2s2 and then we start here with uh, 2s2 then 2px1 2px uh, x uh, 2py so we can write down one and then we can do 2py1 and 2pz 2pz we don't have any electrons over there so in in the second diagram if you look at this diagram second one we we call it as the excited state why do we call it as an excited excited state an excited state uh, at excited state we can say the electronic configuration of carbon that is atomic number 6 is 1s2 2s1 2p 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 why because one of the electrons from uh, 2s2 goes to 2pz so now the in excited state we have 1s2 2s1 2px1 2p y1 and 2pz1 so we can uh, write it also at the bottom if we want to we can say 2 2s <coughs> at the bottom is 2s1 so here we can write down sorry yeah we here we can write down 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 after sp2 hybridization there uh, we can say their structure or we can say the uh, the whole st uh, hybridized state differs so we can say uh, we can also say that only 2pxy 2py and 2s take part in hybridization once more i repeat 2s we can say over here if you look at the diagram over here 2s1 and then we have 2px1 and 2py 
they take part in hybridization and uh, then our hybrid orbitals of one carbon atoms overlaps with one hybrid or orbitals of another carbon atom and thus form a carbon carbon sigma bond so if you look at uh, if you look at this diagram in ethene you will see uh, two other hybrid orbitals of each carbon you will see over here each carbon in the later down diagram two other hybrid orbitals of each carbon atoms overlap with one s orbital of two hydrogen atom and thus form two carbon hydrogen bonds with each carbon atom one 2pz over here we can see orbital remains unchanged this leads to the formation of three sp2 hybridized orbitals so you'll see uh, three sp2 hybridized orbitals over here one over here two over here and three over here so one 2pz uh, orbitals we call it as one 2pz orbitals remains unchanged this leads to the formation of three sp2 hybridized orbitals thus the main structure of ethylene is built so this is the main actually due to sp2 hybridization the bond angles are 120 degree and all the atoms are on a plane one carbon atom overlaps sp2 orbital of another carbon atoms to form sp2 single bond sp2 uh, sig uh, sigma bond we can say so over here we can see clearly that in this diagram at the bottom then the 2pz orbital this this one over here on each carbon atom if you look at this uh, we can say this one over here and this one over here then the 2p orbitals on each carbon atom remains with one electron each the the two sp2 hybrid orbitals gets get overlapped by two hydrogen atoms containing unpaired electrons they overlap with with each other sidewise to form carbon carbon pi bonds so these are uh, this sidewise you can see clearly here uh, this i'll just uh, show with the over here you will see this part they are uh, overlapping sidewise so they overlap with each other sidewise to form carbon carbon pi bonds so we call them as pi bonds a pi bond is formed by the unhybridized uh, orbitals of each carbon atom so the one that we saw over here this is the unhybridized p so uh, a pi bond is formed by the unhybridized 2pz orbitals of each carbon atom this is a formation of or we can say there is a formation of a a uh, sigma bond and a pi bond between two carbon atoms so we can clearly see that uh, sigma bond is one year and then we can see the pi bond at the bottom when we look at the molecule of c2h4 if you look at the molecule over here c2h4 we can again we can go through that is it has two ch molecule and four hydrogen molecules the carbon atom consists of six electrons and hydrogen has one electron so clearly we can see here one one over here <coughs> we, yeah we can see the electrons over there showing single bond during the formation of ch2 ch2 uh, ch2 double bond ch2 the electronic configuration changes now the important point that we have to keep in our mind is ethene that is c2h4 has a double bond between the carbons and in the ethene molecule the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized so clearly we can see that one unpaired uh, this is the sp2 uh, <coughs> this is the sp2 hybridized and then we can see over here uh, the carbon atom sp2 and one unpaired electron in the p orbital remains unchanged the two carbon atoms forms a sigma bond in the molecule by overlapping to sp2 orbitals so we can see that uh, over here in it in ethene each carbon combines with three other atoms rather than four so that we can keep in our mind the three hybridized orbitals 
explains the three sigma bonds that each carbon forms. And we can say that the pi bond between the carbon atoms are this pi bond that we have are perpendicular to the molecular plane. Uh, we can see in this diagram also it's perpendicular to the molecular plane and it is formed by 2p 2p overlap. I hope you have understood uh, the hybridization sp2 hybridization taking place in ethene. Hybridization in acetylene this time it is sp hybridize, hybridization. So the example is acetylene. If you look at the structure of acetylene you will see first the formula is C2H2 that means two carbon and two hydrogen and you will see that between the carbon carbon we have a triple bond that is here and then between hydrogen and carbon we have single covalent bond. Now in this we will see involvement, involvement of 1s and 1p orbital. 2sp hybrids will give it a linear shape. Now let's start. Now the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. The ground state electronic configuration will be of carbon will be 1s2 uh, we can just write it down so that uh, we can remember it nicely so at ground state the electronic configuration of carbon will be 1s2 2s2 then we can write down 2p x1 and 2p y1 so there are only two unpaired electrons in the ground state. However, the valency of carbon is 4. That is, it forms 4 bonds. In order to form 4 bonds, there must be 4 unpaired electrons. Hence, carbon promotes one of its, you will see from here, uh, ca carbon promotes one of its uh, electron. And in the excited state, it will come over here so carbon promotes one of its one of its 2s electron into the empty 2p z so this is actually 2p x1 2p x sorry 2p y1 and this one will be 2p z1 so carbon pr promotes one of its 2s electron into the empty 2p z 2p z orbital in the excited state so this place thus in the excited state the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2 then 2s now it becomes in the excited state it will become uh, 1s2 then 2s1 2p x1 then 2p y1 and 2p z1 this is in the excited state each carbon atom undergoes sp hybridization by using a 2s and 2s and 1 2p orbitals in the excited state to give two half filled sp hybrid orbitals which are arranged linearly the two carbon atom forms if you look at the structure over here it has uh, 2s1 2p xy this is the sp hybridization and then we have the pure or unhybridized 2p y and 2p z forming the sigma bond so the two carbon atoms form, if you look at the two carbon atoms, it will form sigma sp and sp bond. So you will see two sp sp bond over here. One is this side, one is that side with each other by using a sp orbital. So if you look at the bigger diagram, you will see over here, two carbon will form a sigma bond. Two carbon atoms from form a sigma bond sp sp bond with each other by using sp orbitals 
However, they are also two unhybridized. This part, this one, unhybridized p orbitals. That is, this one, two p y and two p z on each carbon atom. So you'll see on each carbon atom there are two. Here is the carbon. So two unhybridized p orbitals. This two over here. Uh, unhybridized p orbitals that is 2py and 2pz so this is 2py and 2pz on each carbon atom which are perpendicular so this is perpendicular and this is also perpendicular to each other they are both perpendicular to each other so they are also unhybridized p orbitals that is 2py and 2pz on each carbon atom which are perpendicular to each other to the sp hybrid orbitals you can say these orbitals form two we'll see over here it what will it form it will form this one and this one we can say this one and this one it will form two pi pp bonds between the two carbon atoms this is the carbon this is the carbon so it will form uh, pp uh, so we can say pi pp bonds between two carbon atom thus a triple bond including one sigma sp sp bond and two pi pp bond is formed so we can see clearly this is the uh, this one over here is sp1 and these are the uh, p bonds uh, we can say uh, the pi bonds over there pi p bonds uh, so these orbitals form two pi pp bonds between the two carbon atoms so finally we see a triple bond including one sigma and two pi bonds are there each carbon also forms a sigma sps bond between the hydrogen so here also we'll see a sigma bond and here also we'll see a sigma sps bond with the hydrogen atom thus uh, acetylene molecule if you look at the molecule it's linear and it has a 180 degree bond angle if you look at it so it is linear and with a bond angle of 180 degree i hope students you have understood hybridization in uh, acetylene if you like my le lessons video lessons please subscribe please like and please share with your friends if you have any questions please ask in the comment section thank you